Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I will be continuing the Minecraft Fire Alarm series which uh, which have been like pretty much on pause for the entire time. So today will be a little different. We won't be doing any system tests. But there's going to be something new, so you guys remember this chamber here? I am planning on uh updating this system by making it the entire thing wireless but that will all indeed take a while or maybe I'll actually just build a new one a completely new one which is completely wireless I mean there will be some wires but the majority of like the long distance transmissions will be wireless and here is the demo system which is actually the first video I've ever pre uh, like posted and for some reason that one is the one that is doing well and this system is very very basic I would I would say that this is like the worst system ever like that video could have been a clickbait too I would say but I mean it's doing pretty well so yeah so make sure to check out the other my other video um, about this one and there's also one video where I put um, did both tests. Actually, I will put the link up here. Anyways, so today I will sh be showing you guys this fire simulator room. Chunk loading here. Okay. This is the new simulator room I built, and it is supposed to be simulating fires. So this part is not completed yet. So I will. Let's get this part filled up. This entire place is supposed to be uh, completely airtight. And if you see any pieces of wood, that is the inside of the chamber. So you don't want that to be happening. And there's like color coding up here. And this is the main logic system around here. Looks pretty complex. Trust me, I built it. It was really difficult. Try to figure out how to place the wires, the redstone dust, so that it doesn't come into conflict with other ones. And this is going to be the first test of the simulator. And also, I need you guys to give me some suggestions on the simulator. I'm thinking of adding windows. And if you guys like that idea, please put it in the comment section below and I will read it. So yeah, let's, be, let's give you guys a tour of this place. So this is the main control room. We have the detectors, which detects um, which, like, where the fire is, basically. And we also have fire, uh, oh, no, no, no. We also have power um, lights. This is just to indicate if there's power going to that specific zone. And this part is the very center. This is like C zone. While this this area here, this is A zone and this is B zone, if I'm correct. Yes, this is the B zone. And yeah, detectors. And that is the light switch with our light here. This is the reset button. I will press, actually I will put the hover note here. Reset. Um, you said inside. I'll put this like. Uh, um, what should I put here? Like. Uh, I'll just leave this blank for now. At least uh, I'll just have to remind myself. Um, what? Clean up inside. Uh, yeah, you know what? I will just write the procedure for myself. So, yeah. I think this is zone B, I'm not sure. So 
let's just do that for now. Okay, there we go. So I wouldn't really be pressing that reset button. So let me give you guys a tour of the underground wiring system. This is the main detector system. And it's a basic regular piston pushing a redstone block to get a sustained signal out of the observers. Pretty, pretty basic detection system. And yeah, this is just the underground system. Hold on, let's get myself out of here. So I'll be showing you guys the inside. So these uh, levers are powering the power lights. These are basically if these are destroyed or turned off, the power lights would turn off. And we've got lights. It's like a basic corridor. And if we want, we could put other flammable things in here. But since this is the first ever test. We won't. So yeah. So every single time it resets, you have to break some blocks to get the corridor uh, cleaned up, and you have to place these torches down, and even the lights, you gotta place them back on, like place them down to get them there. And these. So basically, this detector C, which stands actually for center, but in this case, it will just be called C because you know we have done A, B, C. So detector C is like right here, so if I break this, the detector will light up, and there are other detectors on the floor across this entire area. Nine detectors in total. So yeah, let's... So let's start our first fire corridor simulator test right now. So we will be igniting detector C first. And we'll be going into the... Also, should I have some glass outside so that you can observe the inside? Comment down below if I should. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh it's spreading really quickly. Um, no, no, no. bell when the detector triggers oh yes the detector C is triggered oh, I'll turn off the ring I think that's what's causing some lag my well, iPad really sucks so yeah I'll turn my weather weather so we have the detector C on right According to what I like, the way I created it, I think it should burn down the entire room. Let's see. Still, Detective C is the only one that has been activated at the moment. Let's look inside. Oh! Oh, it broke the lights. Wow, that was quick. No fire. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, there's fire there. Detector warning lights light up. Oh, we have detector D4 is lit up. So this is the numbering system. The number zone A is this zone, as I said, and the numbers go from right to left in this direction. In, the, in this direction. And the tech uh, zone B's start with a B, and then the numbers go this way. So we still have all power online, and 
One de two detectors triggered. This is disappointingly slow. And if it, like the ticking speed is just slow. So as you can see, this is the second detector. One of the powers should go off. Oh, I think I broke it. No, no, no. You can keep the power on. Oh, we have two detect- uh, three detectors on around. How do we- oh, we have four detectors. The fire spreading. We have one power down. detectors gone off and the thing is when you reset the system literally all the lights go off somehow except for the power lights all the detectors go off maybe it's because they're refreshed or something like that there's light fires everywhere. Oh, we have five detectors. And um I think it is Nope. It's... Oh, okay, there goes another detector. Well that's real slow. And we still have two power online. Six detectors total. Resetting this system is a little bit hard, you have to break the entire, um, you know, the redstone block and then place them back. Which, I should maybe design like a system where you can reset it automatically or like just with a push of a button. I think the fire went out again. Oh, never mind. This is really slow. Mm. Oh, there's fire here, so the last detector on zone B side should go off. Oh, we have seven detectors now. Fire is out, so just light these on so the turn room cleared off basically. Detectors are have gone off. 
and power on zone B1 has been is has failed basically. We have one more power online. This light should turn off very soon. Oh, it will. It's on fire, so. Yup, there we go. And this is basically the end of this test. So I'll show you guys the reset. So as you can see, we need to check that all the fire is out before we can reset because we don't want a new build thing to uh, to start burning. So it seems as if Everything is, um, all the fires are out, so we can go outside and reset the system. Reset. As you can see, nothing changed because only detectors have already been turned on. But as you can see, the... Here we go. See, it filled out all of it like this. And our selected areas that needs to be destroyed so that you know things work properly. And also, the thing is that I also need to reset the lighting system as well so it gets a little bad I guess because it takes a while to reset so I mean I will maybe I will go for a second test but there's not really much that I'm going to be doing with this system so let me show you the reset process you see this you do this and place it on to the piston and that's basically it Keep this cover open just because it's easier for me to reset the system because you see those yellow things that is basically telling me where the lights originally were smart system I would say but you know what this is pretty boring just connecting some wires back on um, and the orange ones is where the power le levers, levers were. So yeah, I, I, I guess I would um, reset these on my own. So ho hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And yeah, this is it for today. And we're done. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.